Hey guys, it's Jerry. Um, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Today, what I'm going to do is take a look at uh, Panda's 2011 line of security products. Now, obviously, we're not going to have time to look at all of them, but I just wanted to show you their their website. Uh, their looks like their final 2011 uh, product line is out. They have their Antivirus Pro. They have Internet Security for Netbooks. They have uh, Internet Security for Desktops and their Global Protection. <clears throat> now, as you can see here, um, it has improved protection against malware, antivirus, and anti-malware protection, behavior analysis, collective intelligence, um, which is uh, cloud-based protection, uh, personal firewall, uh, and a USB vaccine, which protects your PC, and USB drives from infection, which is pretty cool. They have a new virtual keyboard that comes with all of the um, products. They have iBonus, the uh, Panda Safe Browser. So now they uh, also have a sandbox browser, which is pretty cool. And it does come in all the versions of their, um, of their software. They have a gaming mode, multimedia mode. They have um, a home network manager, anti-spam, uh, improved parental control for uh, all except the pro version. They have identity protection, backup and restore, and improved online backup, which gives you two gigs of storage for all but the pro version. Then when you step up to internet security in the global version, you have remote PC access, which you can access from anywhere to your home or office computer. They have an optimization tool built into global um, internet security. They have file encryption, file shredding, and then your mail web tech support. Um, you have forms that you can use and their um, their safe CD, which uh, which is uh, just like all the other or most of the other antivirus programs. What they're offering now is a bootable CD in case your computer um, no longer boots up or becomes inoperable. You can use the Panda Safe CD to clean all types of malware from your computer. If you cannot start Windows, it connects to the internet to get the la latest, uh, well, I guess that should say latest antivirus technologies every time you need it. So um, it's pretty jam packed. And like I said, today we're going to look at the Global Protection 2011. Um, I'm going to install it. Here's the icon here with the famous Panda face on it for the icon. The installer, I think, was about 73 megs. Um, yeah, 73 meg installer. Not too, too uh, bad. And it came down pretty quickly. Uh, even in the virtual machine, it wasn't that, that bad at all. It took about a minute and a half or so. So I'm going to install it. If I see anything out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary, I'll come back. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's installed. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just wanted to show you something real quick. As I was installing Panda, it's telling me that malware bytes is incompatible. Now I can see if it was a real-time um, scanner where it might have compatibility issues, but where the uh, Malwarebytes version I have is a free version that's just an on-demand scanner, I can't really see why Malwarebytes would be incompatible. So for now, I'm going to uninstall it because it's asking me if I want to proceed, I need to uninstall with Malwarebytes. So I'll do that, but I wish these uh, antivirus pro, you know, companies would not do that, make you uninstall uh, maybe competitors' software just because they're a competitor and not really because it's incompatible. Um, uh, anyway, I, I, that's just my thought on it. It's, uh, it's not really that cool to, to do that, to make you uninstall um, other, other software that I really don't think would be incompatible if it's just an on-demand on scanner. 
So it's asking me to restart. I'm going to do that and come back and finish the installation. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, just installed Panda Global Security 2011. Uh, not exactly off to a good start. Um, uh, installed it. The icon is right here. Double clicked on it and uh, went to click preferences just to kind of check it out. Uh, run an update. And as you can see, it's not responding, but I'll just uh, wait to see if it comes back. Uh, and let you know what happens. So I'm going to repause the video again, and uh, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, still not responding. I opened up the task manager to see what was going on, and as you can see, the CPU is is uh, flat out. It's 100%. Um, the Panda is basically taking up most of the CPU. It's jumping between 25 and 90, I've seen it. Um, but I'm not sh exactly sure what it's up. Oh, just came back. Okay, I I'm not exactly sure what it was doing, um, only because I installed it, and I really haven't done anything with it yet uh, as far as scanning or updating. <clears throat> and it was still using... A lot of CPU and uh, and memory, so it was kind of weird to see the CPU spiking like that. Um, you know, because because I ha I wasn't really doing anything with it, but uh, now it looks like it's back. Um, let's see, as far as CPU, um, I have it highlighted there. It's uh, it's kind of it's gone back down to a, a normal range. Um, so, well, actually, it's still. If you look up here, it's still uh, on access anti malware protection, and then that Panda console. It's using up quite a bit of uh, CPU. It's still pinned at 100%. So, not not exactly sure what's going on there, but uh, let me go ahead and update it, get it set up, and I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll take it from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, doing an update of their uh, signature files. I got to tell you, uh, this new 2011 interface, uh, pretty nice looking. Um, I like the colors, and while it was scanning for updates, it uh, it had this um, this splash screen with this uh, cool looking um, thing going on. It, it it you know they've done a nice job as far as the the looks of it, the uh, user interface, and um, you know the uh, the just the cool things that it does in the background. So um, I'll just I just wanted to show you what this looks like. I'll do the update, then I'll come back, and uh, we'll see what the settings or the preferences look like. So I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, just went ahead and did the update. Said it updated correctly and uh, detection capacity has increased. We recommend scanning all of your computer. Well, um, don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, don't know that I'm going to do that now only because I know it's a pretty much a clean machine. Um, so it's broken up into three major sections here under, under your status. You have protection. You have antivirus, firewall, identity protection, which I haven't set up and obviously I'm not going to. Vulnerabilities, which scans your computer for programs that have um, vulnerabilities or, or holes where um, hijackers can access your computer. We have the anti-spam uh, filter and parental control. Uh, under maintenance, you have your backup and your optimization, and then you have your updates. Uh, there's your scan screen. You can scan all the computer. You can scan just a hard disk. You can scan your mail. You can scan other items where you can uh, select specifically what <clears throat> you want to scan. And then you can uh, detect <clears throat> vulnerabilities um, with Panda. Here's your, <clears throat> excuse me, your reports, which is pretty self-explanatory. 
Anything that's quarantined will go here under your quarantine log. <clears throat> and then your um, services or your additional tools, you can go into your forum. You can, um, you can have an email technical support, your bulletins. You can create a rescue disk. And you can send suspicious files to Panda. Okay. So it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, as far as your um, protection and your interface is concerned. Now, if we go into settings under protection, and uh, your, your settings, looks like it, everything's pretty much checked under threats. Under unknown threats, enable protection against unknown threats, probably like cloud and heuristics based. Yeah, those are um, those are checked. Uh, move potentially dangerous uh, attachments to quarantine. Uh, yeah, of course I want to do that. Firewall, I'm not going to mess with that. Identity protection. Uh, well, I guess it looks like it's enabled here, but I haven't really um, done anything with it. And uh, vulnerabilities, nothing really there to set up. And then um, you can add list of trusted senders here <clears throat> on your um, anti-spam. Okay, so uh, that's the settings for your protection. Uh, your maintenance has settings as well. Where you have your backup and your optimization wizard that's built into uh, Panda. Uh, and here you can create your backup just in case something happens with the uh, with the computer and then I'm just going to look at optimization to see what it looks like and here you can clean up your computer you can schedule automatic file cleanup and uh, you can defrag your hard drive from here which is you know pretty straightforward I mean you know you, you get that built into Windows but I haven't really tested this optimization tool to see how effective it is versus your free uh, optimization tools such as the one that comes with your PC or something like C Cleaner. Uh, then you have your updates. You can, uh, I'm, I'm assuming with settings, you can um, update automatically. You can activate it after your trial, uh, and you could uh, configure proxy um, settings for updates. Now under preferences. You, uh, you can enable self-diagnosis, which I'll, I'll check. Uh, this is pretty cool. If necessary, it reduces CPU usage during scans. So as we saw, the, the, um, the CPU usage was pretty high. So if you check this, it's going, to, uh, it's, it's going to reduce the CPU usage automatically if Panda sees that it's taking a lot of um, CPU. Uh, send information to Panda. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. You have a mail profile preferences. Uh, you have internet where you can set a proxy. You have your restrictions where you can set up a password and you can um, restrict sections based on what you check off here. And then um, you can click what you want pop-ups for and, uh, and gaming. So pretty straightforward. Um, there's additional settings. I don't really have time to go over everything. You, you know, you can download a, a free trial, mess around with it, but uh, just thought I'd show you what uh, all of these different um, uh, components looks like. Okay. Uh, again, you know, you can go into each individual component under protection and configure them the way you want under protection, maintenance, and updates. Um, you can install additional features for the global protection. So all in all, uh, like I said, uh, it looks like a, a really nice looking interface. Um, it's uh, you know pretty straightforward, simple to use. Pandas, uh, they've done away with, the, uh, with that interface that to me was too simple looking, but um, looks more professional now, I really like it. So I'm going to do a second video where I do a prevention test, so uh, I'll be right back with video two.